guilty of aggravated rape. Tonight, Corey Beatty is back behind bars after a jury found him guilty for a second time of raping a female student inside a Vanderbilt University dorm room. This is the 22, 22nd year old's latest mugshot, taken Friday after he was placed back into custody. While the trial may be over, the costs of trying this case for a second time already adding up. Yeah, by the time it's all said and done, taxpayers will be out thousands of dollars. And new at six tonight, our Chris Conti joins us. And Chris, there's still another trial on the horizon. Which essentially means you have to take the bill from last week's trial and double it. The cost of justice in this case was not cheap. Whatever the verdict may be, please do not have any outburst. It took two and a half hours for a jury to convict Corey Beatty Charged of rape. Guilty of aggravated rape. A two and a half hour decision that has altered lives. I've said it before, there are no winners here. There's only losers and, and survivors. I am required to revoke your bond. But getting to this point in the final hours of Friday night wasn't easy. The publicity of the first trial prompted Judge Monty Watkins to bring in 14 jurors from Chattanooga. They spent the better part of six days sequestered in Nashville, all at the expense of taxpayers. The costs become astronomical and it has kind of a butterfly effect. Each juror was housed at the Holiday Inn Express at a discounted rate of $225 a night. 17 rooms total, including two for court officers and one for meals, multiplied by six nights for a total of $22,950. And so this is a very expensive case to bring, especially when you start figuring in that you have a sequestered jury and you're responsible for their care and control the entire time you have them. Each juror also got a stipend, $30 per day per juror, a $2,100 total. It also costs $1,524 to bus jurors in, then there was food. To feed 14 people for six days totaled $4,620. And then, of course, you also have, you know, the court staff and, and their salaries, which I don't even think were figured into the previous piece, but it's going to be very expensive. And then potentially uh, there could be four sequestered jury trials. In the end, to reach a verdict cost more than $31,000. Perhaps the biggest cost, though, that can never be measured in dollars or cents is the lives this case has changed. Even though justice is done, uh, there, are no, there are no winners in that whole system. That $31,000 price tag is a rough estimate. Some bills are still coming in. By comparison, the first trial of Corey Beatty cost the state just $240. We're live at the courthouse downtown this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5.